Good day, everyone. My name is Okuba Nigo Rosemary. I am a student of Holy Child College, Southwest Ikoyi, and I'll be speaking on the topic Parents, the Nigerian Child, and Leadership. Leadership is the action of directing, controlling, or overseeing the activities of a person, a group of people, an organization, or a nation at large. A leader is an individual who has the skill and potency to guide others to achieve success and paves the path for others to follow. In the Nigerian society, especially in the political sector, many people have taken up positions of leadership which they are not competent enough to handle. And this has induced an increased rate of political apathy, frustration, lack of trust in the political system, and an increase in the rate of criminal activities in the country. All these factors have contributed to a misinterpretation of the real sense of leadership, as it causes confusion in the minds of people on the true essence of good leadership. If the true sense of leadership is to be revived in Nigeria, then it must begin from the Nigerian homes, that is, the Nigerian parents and their children. Like Iyala Bazaar said, parents are teachers, guides, learners, protectors, and providers for their children. Parents are the first and most essential teachers of their children. Hence, their impact goes a long way in developing the mindsets of their children. Parents are therefore expected to educate their children on the relevance of good leadership and equip them with values that will help them positively influence the lives of people around them. They are also expected to train them to see situations from other people's points of view, to communicate effectively and learn to listen and respond to others in a polite manner. Parents are also expected to manifest the traits of good leadership themselves, as it is impossible for a parent to advise his child to do what is right when he himself does the opposite. Like the popular saying goes, you cannot teach what you do not know and cannot give what you do not have as well. I mean, as a parent, how do you expect to train a child when you have no morals and you are indisciplined yourself? That is not possible. Moreover, children are more likely to learn from the actions of their parents faster than their words because they believe that what you do shows them how you want them to behave. For instance, Mahatma Gandhi is an example of a good leader who was brought up by responsible parents. Although dead, today he is known as one of the world's most influential anti-war leaders who fought for civil rights and believed in non-violence. In addition to this, parents should also send their children to good schools where good morals and ethics can be instilled in them and they can be nurtured to attain their future careers, as this will help them grow to become responsible individuals with unquestionable moral rectitude, and they will be able to guide others on the right path. In conclusion, I believe that the onus of good leadership lies on both the parents and their children to yield responsible leaders who will guide Nigeria out of our present dilemma. Thank you.